Now, you've probably heard of ransomware at some point, but if you haven't, Essentially what it is, is it's a computer virus that infects a computer and then encrypts all of the data on that computer and forces the user to then pay a sum of money in order to get that data back. In other words, it holds your data for ransom, hence the name. Now there was a huge ransomware attack that happened recently and gained international attention when hackers infected more than 250,000 computers in over 116 countries in less than four days of the virus being released back in May of 2018. The attack was called WannaCry and is now considered one of the largest and definitely the most talked about ransomware attacks ever. And even though it was slowed down and a free decryptor was given to help people get their data back, WannaCry still infects computers along with other ransomwares that are out there as well. Another such ransomware, but it was less reported on, was called GandCrap. Uh, it's still pretty prevalent actually, it was far more successful in terms of money generated for the attackers. One of the big differences between the two was the fact that GanCrab figured out they can make more money by targeting corporations whose data is much more valuable to the owners instead of your average person. Now in addition to that, they had the ability to adjust the ransom amount per infection automatically. The minimum was $600 for like a small amount of data, like a user like you or I probably, but one user actually reported a $700,000 ransom on their computers. Crazy, right? Some estimates report that GanCrab has earned over $300 million for the hackers and it's still going. Now, side note, something I just thought was kind of interesting about GanCrab is the fact that they're kind of locked in this cat and mouse game with Bitdefender, which is a private anti-malware company that we'll actually talk about more in a sec. GanCrab releases their virus, Bitdefender then works in conjunction with local authorities to get the keys back so that then they can give those to people as a free decryptor, then GanCrab updates, they have to do the same thing or other methods, and they just kind of keep going back and forth, which I thought was kind of crazy. Now, real quick, what is ransomware and how does it work? The virus essentially finds a way to get onto your computer, either through an email attachment that you download, a link you click, or as was the case with WannaCry, through a security flaw that was inherent in Windows itself that doesn't even require user action on your part, it simply required you to be on an older version of Windows that didn't have the security patch. Now, once infected, most of the ransomware viruses will just start to encrypt files on the computer as fast as they can. After that, it would display a pop-up to the user explaining the situation and asking them to pay a sum of money via Bitcoin or some other untraceable currency. $300 worth of Bitcoin was the case for WannaCry, and once paid, would then, supposedly at least, decrypt the files, giving you access back. So there you go, that's what it is. How do you prevent it, though, from infecting your computer? Well, firstly, you should always just practice just general safe online behavior, and this might seem pretty rudimentary to a lot of users out there, but you'd be surprised how many people don't do these things. Things like make sure not to click on attachments or links in emails that you don't know who they're from. Only download programs from trusted sites and also just kind of avoid shady sites on the internet in general. As demonstrated by WannaCry, the fact that they use an exploit that was built into Windows that could have easily been stopped had everybody just been updated, you should always keep your computer up to date. Now to do this on Windows, Type an update into the search box at the bottom left of the desktop and select check for updates. Then click on the check for updates button there. And if there are any, install them. For some reason, I find that even when you tell Windows to automatically check for and install updates, it doesn't always do so. So manually doing this once in a while is probably the best way to ensure that you have the latest updates. So another way to stop this um, is the fact that, well, first off, it's always a good idea to back up your data. But in the case of ransomware, depending on how you do it, it can be super helpful. The virus will usually infect the computer that is installed on, but it will also sometimes spread to other devices on the network as well as connected hard drives. So for the backup to be helpful, you'll need to have something that is a manual hard drive that isn't connected to the network. The benefit to this is the data that you transfer was then siloed off from the rest of your system and it can't be infected. But the downside, of course, is that since it isn't connected constantly, there isn't really an easy way to automatically back this up. You just have to remember to do this once in a while to mitigate the amount of things that you could possibly lose if you were infected. Okay, now if you just don't wanna deal with any of this and you just don't wanna think about it and you, you don't mind paying a little bit of money, there's actually a ton of anti-malware uh, programs out there that have this type of anti-ransomware stuff built in. Now the one that I'd actually recommend and I've talked about before is Bitdefender. And if you Google around, you'll see that basically everyone recommends them. They have a ton of awards, etc. So don't just take my word for it. In addition to Bitdefender having a pretty sick arsenal of like anti-malware, parental controls, VPN, apps for all of your devices, including Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, etc. They have a feature set specific to ransomware and it, it's kind of clever. Firstly, 
Once you install Bitdefender on your computer, it will then constantly be looking for ransomware like behavior and it will automatically block anything that exhibits that behavior, like programs that are trying to access your file system in a certain way, etc. If something does get past that, however, it also stops changes to any files on your system that aren't authorized, which stops the virus from being able to encrypt them and making the attack pretty much useless. And finally, if it gets past all of that, well, the system can actually undo any changes to files in real time and just set them back to the state they were decrypted before the encryption happened. There you go. What ransomware is and kind of how to avoid it as best as you can. Um, if you guys are interested, Bitdefender was kind enough to give me a link that I put down below that you guys can use to get a free 90 day trial. There's no commitment if you guys want to check that out. Again, I've mentioned that before on this channel and on my website because I do really appreciate the product, but you can go check it out if you want. Otherwise, I hope in general this was helpful for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about these types of videos where I kind of explain something and do a little more teaching than I do, say, just like a review or a walkthrough or that kind of stuff. Love to hear from you guys. Just curious. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. And also don't forget to check out the rest of my channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next to or subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.